plus 10th welcome to the next video of economics online tutorial sessions today we are going to continue our first chapter which is development now today's topic is income and other criteria now when we think of a nation besides per capita income we all know that we can uh, calculate the development of a country of two countries with the help of average income or per capita income but when we think of a nation besides per capita income we also think other equally important attributes what is attribute some quality some other attributes now you all know what is per capita income per capita income is total income of a country divided by its total population with the help of per capita income you can calculate the average income of the country now the other attributes we are talking about the other equally important attributes now the first attribute other than per capita income is infant mortality rate now what is infant mortality rate the number of children dying the number of children dying before the completion of one year before their first birthday they die out of out of 1000 live children born in a particular year for example in a country 1000 people 1000 children born and out of those 1000 children those children who died the percentage of children died suppose out of 1000 500 people died out of 1000 then 500 will be the infant mortality rate of that country the number of children dying before completion of one year out of 1000 life children born in the particular year understood in a country out of 1000 people 1000 children the number of children died before celebrating their first birthday that number is the infant mortality rate of that country now the second attribute is literacy rate now number of persons out of 100 it's a proportion out of 100 who are of 7 years or above who are above 7 years and who has the ability to read to write and to understand literacy doesn't mean to write it also asks you to able to get read able to write and you should be able to understand any one language if i am able to understand write and read any language then i will be included in the literacy rate now number of persons out of 100 suppose in a country where 100 people are there and out of which 50 people are able to read, write and understand any one language then they will be considered as the literate people and those 50 people will be considered as the 50% of the literacy rate. Understood? Now, the next attribute is net attendance ratio. It means the total number of children age group of 14 to 15 years. Those children which are of 14 to 15 years and are attending school 14 to 15 years and they are attending school as a percentage of total number of children in the same age group suppose in a country suppose in a country there the age group of 14 to 15 the number of children who are of 14 to 15 are suppose 100 in a country there are 100 students 100 people who are under the age group of 14 to 15 and out of these 100 people only 20 people go to the school only 20 people go to the school then this 20 percent will be the net attendance ratio the total number of children of age group 14 to 15 who are attending the school as per the percentage of total number of children in the same age group i guess you have understood 
all these attributes which are per capita income, infant mortality rate, literacy rate and net attendance ratio. Now we are going to compare few states of our country according to their attributes. Friends, uh, under your NCRT book, the NCRT has compared three states, Haryana, Kerala and Bihar. So we will compare these states of our country according to the income and other criteria. Now, first of all, the per capita income of these three states, we will compare the per capita income. Now, the per capita income of Haryana is better than Kerala and Bihar. Haryana is above Kerala. Kerala is on second and Bihar is on third place. According to, we are comparing, they are not actually in the third place, but we are just comparing three. So in this three, in these three, Bihar is third, Kerala is second, and Haryana is first according to per capita income only. Fine. So it says that Haryana is earning more. The average income of Haryana is more than these two states. Now, when it comes to infant mortality rate, the Kerala is number one because it has the least number of deaths per thousand. It has the least number of deaths. Only 12 children have died and in Bihar, 42 children died. So, Bihar is the last here and Haryana is on the second spot. But Kerala is better here. Why Kerala is better? Because of the better medical facilities. Because Kerala is using the medical facilities, it has good doctors, it has hospital, it has nurses, it has medical, better medical facilities, it has more dispensaries. So Kerala is better in terms of infant mortality rate. It shows that Kerala has better medical facilities in comparison to other states. Now let's talk about the literacy rate. The literacy rate, the highest literacy rate in these three states is the Kerala. Again, Kerala is number one in terms of literacy rate and Haryana is number two and Bihar is the third one. Now, this literacy rate shows that the most of the people, most of the people in Kerala are educated. Most of them can read, write and understand and any one language. So it shows that Kerala is better in terms of education, literacy rate. Haryana is also good, but it has 82% only. And Bihar, Bihar is very far from them. It is 62%. That's it. Now let's talk about net attendance ratio. Net attendance ratio. It means that in the age group of 14 to 15, how many children are attending the school? So again, Kerala is number one, Haryana is number two, and Bihar is number three. That attendance ratio shows that most of the children in the Kerala in in, uh, in the Kerala are going to the schools between the age group of fourteen to fifteen. So what we understood from this chart is even though Haryana is having better per capita income in comparison to Bihar. But when we talk about other important attributes, Kerala is the champion here. Kerala is better than better in infant mortality rate. Kerala is better in literacy rate. Kerala is better than better in net attendance ratio. So it shows that Kerala is better than Haryana. If we talk about other than per capita income. So other criteria are also important when it comes to the comparison of countries or states in a nation. Hence, the next topic is public facilities. Public means for all of us by the government. Public facilities means for the citizens by the government. Now, these are the services provided by the government provided by the government and these are the services which are provided by the government to its citizens. 
Understood? See, there are lots of things which we need in our life, but we don't have enough money for it. Now, the government's main objective is to provide those public facilities to citizens and businesses to manage social and economic activities smoothly. If the government will not provide these public facilities, then the social life and the economic life of our country will be trashed down. So, there are few public facilities which are required for the social and economical activities so that they can run smoothly. Now, some of the public facilities are here. First of all, good law and order. In a country, law and order is very important to maintain. If a country is not having any rules and regulation nor any law and order, then it will be very difficult for everyone to, sub to survive. There will be rights everywhere, there will be thefts everywhere. So in order to maintain that social life, good law and order situation is required and this is provided by the government. Now, provision of health facilities. In every state there are lots of health facilities these days so that one may not get ill or not die. Now, the next thing is preventive measures for controlling an infectious disease. During these days, you all have heard about COVID-19, coronavirus. Then our government is fighting against it and they are providing us advices and preventive measures. They are giving us on a daily basis so that we can win against the virus. So they used to give the preventive measures to the people in urban areas and to rural areas. And the next one is good quality of educational facilities in all the areas. Our government is providing good educational facilities, in the, especially in the rural areas, they are opening the schools there. So that each and every area of a country gets educated, gets the good educational facilities. Your NCRT book is a standard book which runs in all over the country. So equal and in all the areas. Next one is unadulterated medicines and eatables. The fake medicines. The mixed eatables, which are not for our health, which are not good for our health. We have always came to know about the medicines, which are not the original medicines. They are the mixed one of the other unnecessary elements. We have already seen the cases of pulses. They are mixed with sand, soil and stones. So these are the adulterated. In local language, we call it milavati. So we want the purest form, the unadulterated form of medicines and eatables. The government manages the medicines and eatables so that they are unadulterated and it is provided to us. Now the next thing, roads, power, electricity, irrigation facilities, all those infrastructure which are required for a country so that it can dominate the world, it can run all the economic activities. So, government provides us roads, power, that is electricity, irrigation facilities. These all are provided by the government. Basically, these are the infrastructure of a country. Next one is safe drinking water. The government provided the same drink, safe drinking water and the sanitation facilities, the Nagar Palika. It's their responsibility so that our localities are neat and clean and also the safe drinking water is sent to our homes. Now, the next one is public distribution system in class 9. You all have studied about the public distribution system under which you studied about the ration shops and the buffer stock. How the government provides us the ration, the necessity of necessity foods, necessity of food grace at a very minimum average prices so that even poor people can have the ration, they can eat the food grains, they can have wheat, they can have ration at a very minimal cost. So this was the public facilities. I guess you all have understood what is public facilities. These are the services provided by the government to the citizens and they are of very higher cost and we are not able to bear them as individuals. So these are the public facilities. I hope this video is enough for today 
and you all have understood the concepts so we'll see you in the next video till then stay home stay safe